I'm Max Lebowski, co-founder of Form Labs. So just last week we launched the Form 2, which is uh, our first complete from the ground up redesign of the desktop stereolithography machine. Form 2 uh, is rebuilt from the ground up and there's quite a lot of uh, new things in it. We worked a lot on improving reliability and print quality and then we also added a lot of ease of use features. The Form 2 has a uh, 42% bigger build volume. It has a new optical system where we're building our own galvanometers, so it's more precise and faster. Newer laser, sealed optical system, which makes it more reliable. Uh, it has a new print process, which prints big, uh, large cross-section area parts much better. Um, it has a cartridge system, so you don't have to handle a resin. And it has a touch screen and Wi-Fi connectivity to make it easier to use. The Kickstarter was a, was a bit of an experiment and it's really amazing to get to go back and redesign the thing and build sort of what, what you wanted the first time but didn't have the resources for and also what you've learned about from your customers. It's pretty great to, to come back uh, to the 3D printing world with a, really our second, second shot. Our 3D printers are meant for professionals, designers, and engineers, uh, really a, a wide range of users, but basically anybody who uses 3D CAD has, uh, has some use for this. We have um, mechanical engineers, industrial designers who are prototyping products. We have jewelers who are using our castable resin to, to make a uh, final uh, piece of jewelry. We have people in the movie and game industry who print out characters that they're working on. Uh, it's really quite a wide range of uses. We've always uh, continued to improve our software and, and materials and made that available to existing customers. So now that uh, we're, we're going to begin shipping the Form 2 soon, we're going to have a whole range of updates uh, on both software and materials front that will improve print speed, improve quality, uh, new materials to expand the capabilities, and we'll be rolling that out uh, in the next year.